Hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the higher, everybody. Praise the higher one more time. Praise the higher from whom all blessings flow. Amen, amen. This is your sister, Carrie and Messiah the Christ, Messiah the Messiah, Messiah of Nazareth. If you want to know why I call God the higher and the biblical Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Messiah, I've done a video concerning that one. Greetings, greetings to the 12th scattered tribe of Yashahel. Yashahel is the name given to Jacob. Jacob's name was not changed to Israel. The proper name is Yashahel. I greet all the Hebrew Yashahelites <clears throat> scattered to the four corners of the earth in the diaspora. I greet all, you all in the precious, glorious name of our soon coming King and to the body of Christ, the church. I greet you all in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Yesaya. All right, you can skip this bit and go to the main message. All right, I'm going to do a little bit of housekeeping. Remember my name, Sister Karen. It is in solid gray border with a tick and a body pretending to be me, the dirty devil. Rebuke and, rebuke and report them. Watch a video to the end. There's a sinner's prayer there for you. We want you into the kingdom of Ohio. Hallelujah. So sinner's prayer. And also remember the various platforms that I'm on. I am shadow banned, heavily censored on this platform here, brothers and sisters. They can kick me off any minute now, conjure up some lies, saying I'm breaking some law, and kick me off. So you really, if you, you know, you want to continue to follow the prophecies that I'm giving, please subscribe to the various platforms that I'm on on this channel um, in the description box and pin comment section. All right, got Patreon, Rumble, and all sorts. Just go there, brothers and sisters. All right, okay. Um, these are the top twenty beautiful beloved in the Most High and the beautiful beloved in in Yesaya that comment on any video. I give you a little shout out. Hallelujah! Just a little shout out because um, you know. Yes, I'll give you a little shout out. All right, so these are top 20 beautiful beloved on the video pandem plan, plan pandemic kids, pandemic children, where we talk about that um, the dirty eatables are conjuring up a new pandemic for all little ones. They've started already, you know, down there in Babylon, UK, where they talk about this polio business. All right, keep an eye on that, brothers and sisters, because the devil is a liar. All right, these are the top 20 beautiful beloved on that video. Sister T, Sharon Blackmon, Valerie Jarrett, Chris Black, Edna Gayase, Jerry Sparks, Sherry Anderson, um, <clears throat> Mona Lee Pedra, Kenesha Beauty, Stacy. And small Julie Mayberry Sully H Detra Jones the Treva Lane Tangela Sheldon Trini Brooks Mar Maris Chris Mary Chris Casey Wellington Cyn Cynthia de la Sarda Paulette Allen Christana Allen, Shakira, Henry, Shana, Fisher, State, that's a State, Stacy, and Small, <coughs> sorry, Audrey Anderson, Ashley Dinger, and Giselle Cooper. Top 20, more than 20, really, brothers and sisters, and the most higher. I need a powerful video concerning um, what the plan for our little ones, but we're not afraid of them because, you know, a higher reigns forever. All right, we are in, continue to like the video, subscribe, do your thing. You know what to do, brothers and sisters. You know, you know what to do. Um, yeah, so we are near. We're not only near to the returning of the beautiful Messiah, but we're also near to the revealing of the dirty Antichrist and the lawlessness <coughs> of sin. Uh, Daniel chapter 7 verse 25 talks about that. Satan's going to change times and law. You've got to make sure that the anchor is holding in Christ. All right. We have a prophetic theme song. Our prophetic theme song is called We Are Near When Only Near. Our prophetic theme song is called We Are Near. It's a song that my good old mommy, bless her heart, taught me when I was a little girl. She used to hide sweets and toys and all of that. And we're near to the stove. She's just saying how near you are. Fitting song for these end times. All right. And the song goes like this. How near you are. How near you are. How near. 
You are owner, owner. You are owner. You are owner. You are owner. Hallelujah. Sorry. Yes, we are near. We can sing that song with right confidence. All right, brothers and sisters. My voice is kind of going now because. This is my third video that I'm doing. All right, I like to make at least four videos a day and then dish them out as you know every other day and stuff like that. So this is my, my third. So me voice. All right. Um, I want to bring a revelation to you, which is very very potent, very 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 important. Revelation came in my spirit today. What date is it today? The thirteenth of July. I keep on saying July, isn't it? In the other video, I did say July, didn't I? It's not July, it's August. Oh, my days. Oh, gosh, sorry about that. 13th of August, 2022. All right, 2022. The most I give me a very powerful vision, uh, powerful revelation in my spirit, and I want to share it with the body of Christ. And it's to do with time. And it so happened that a couple of days ago, I shared a video, an old video. Now, for those of you who are wondering, now Sister Karen is sharing her old video. I have to share them, brothers and sisters, because listen to me. Some of them old videos are they're on the brink of coming to pass. So when I share them, it's just to refresh your memory. Your memories or water your memories. Or for those who have never seen them before, you just subscribe to the channel. You know, that's one of sometimes that's that's one of the reasons why I do it as well, brothers and sisters. Alright. So when I share old visions. And stuff like that. I will call it throwback. Always remember when you see throwback. Alright. It's an old one. That's coming at you. Alright. And I'll be sharing them very, very often now. Okay. Because we were just so close to stuff happening. Alright. Um, but 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 the Lord, the Lord spoke to me today. The 13th of August 2022. Powerful, powerful, powerful. And... In my spirit, the Lord showed me that the month of August 2022, all right, that, that, that there's a shift in the realm of the spirit. Um, I don't know exactly if it's when we literally just entered August or a couple of days after. It didn't, wasn't specific with the date, but I know it's August 2022, all right? But there has been a shift in the realm of the spirit, a significant shift in the realm of the spirit. And it's to do with the speeding up of time. The time has shifted the gear. Because you've got to understand that Yesiah works with time. Ahiah works with time. He doesn't just get up and just do things. Everything is pre-planned. Everything is planned out on the most High's calendar. That's why you have prophecies. That's why you have the Bible. So we have a timeline. But in the realm of the spirit, in the month of August 2022, something significant happened. And there has been a massive, not just a tiny, but a, a big jump where time is concerned. That certain things are about to speed up now. Then when these things begin to happen, you cannot pray them away. You can lessen the effect through prayer. But the things that are going to happen, you just, you, you just can't kind of pray them away. But time has speeded up. And when I begin to speak to the Lord and said, Father God, what is this pertaining to? What is it pertaining? This time. There's a shift in time. A speeded up shift in time. I said, Father, what is this pertaining to? And the Lord showed me three prophecies. Three. Sorry, I didn't mean to make the 666, so don't come after me. And say, Sister Carrie is making 666, all right? Three, three prophecies, all right? Three, three, three major prophecies that this time that has, been, that has shifted in August 2022 is to do with. First one is, I don't know which, well, I, two of them I know the order. Two of them I know the order, but the other one I don't know which order but it's to do with the three days of darkness second exodus and the antichrist coming on the scene 
the, the, the time has shifted so that this can happen. So I, I've always prophesied, and I, and I always say that you're not going to go to the, the exodus won't happen until the Antichrist comes on the scene. He's got to come on the scene first. It has to. Without him coming on the scene, there's no exodus yet. So he has to literally take his position as a leader of Babylon U.S. Three days of darkness, that is, listen, that event is not far off, brothers and sisters. It is, go it is going to happen. Like, it is going to happen. There's no, there's no if, buts, or maybe it will happen. Will it happen before the Antichrist? I don't know. Will it happen during the reign of the Antichrist? I don't know. But those are the three major events that time has speeded up so that this, these three events can happen. Time. There's a shift in the realm of the spirit where time is concerned. It's as if, I don't know how to describe it, but it's as, it, it, it is as if it has jumped. Like, all right. How can I put it? Let me use a scenario. There's a clock in front of you. And the clock is saying 5 o'clock. You know that the clock is saying 5 o'clock. You get up. I don't know. To go use a toilet or to go for something in a different room. Just literally pick something up and come back. And when you come back, the, the clock has shifted to 6 o'clock. It's like that. In the realm of the spirit. It's, it's just made this massive leap. The Lord showed it to me. Massive leap. So something significant. Something significant. It is going to happen. It is going to happen. Something really really prophetic. And significant. That's going to happen. And this. Like I say. And I'm repeating myself. But that's how I do prophecy. Um, <laughs> but like I say. This shift. Of time in the realm of the spirit um, it happened in the month of August this is this is where the Lord showed me where it happened as we like I said I don't know if as soon as we entered or is in the you know to the 13th isn't it or was it on the fifth? I, I'm not sure it could be today as he was speaking to me the 13th of August it could be but all I know that the Lord is saying that there's a shift where time is concerned there's a leap. It's just jump. Pushed up. Like somebody's just pushed the clock. Time is running out. Time is running out. Brothers and sisters. So. Events are about to unfold. I, I know that the second exodus is not far off. The angels. They're walking up and down, looking like strangers in the earth. <laughs> yes, Lord. They're coming for you. They're coming to your houses. Your workplace. If you're in the supermarket, on the street, wherever you may be. These angels are going to come and they're going to tell you what time it is and what to do. And like I say in the previous videos, in the previous video, that the cruise liners, <clears throat> the ships, um, people are going to physically see them docking at the ports. But the Caesars are going to give you another reason where they're going to come. They're going to be docking there. Because when that appointed time comes, and we have to go. But yes, brothers and sisters, this prophecy is really deep in my spirit. Time. There's a, there's a shift in the spirit realm where time is concerned. As I'm talking about it, I can see that the exodus already happened. I can see the second exodus already happened in the realm of the spirit. It's already happened. It's just manifest in the natural now. 
I see the three days of darkness happening already in the spirit room and the Antichrist coming on the scene. Things are just going to speed up. There's a shift. A high never lies. There's a shift in the t in time. Time has jumped. It's leaped. Because prophecy is, has to be fulfilled. It, it is time. Time is running out. We've got, we've got much time left. In so much that I was saying to the most star, I was saying to the Lord, you know, when, when he should begin to talk to me about this time speeding up. I was saying, Father, but I feel, yes, I'm on you, you, and, you know, it's the fastest way, social media is the fastest way to reach the world, really and truly. But I was saying to the Lord, I, I just feel like there's so much left for me to do. So much left for me to do. Have this hunger and thirst in my spirit just to work it all for the Lord. Though the task be great, I just want to work for him. And maybe this this that I'm feeling in my spirit is, you know, is to do with the 144,000. Because we've got to work. Some of us who is a part of the 144,000, I'm a part of it. Um, we've got a work to carry out. So even if I don't finish the work in this dispensation, because time is running out and time is short. Amen. Um, when when I find my partner, because we're going to be paired up, all right, um, with 144,000, um, then the work will carry out. We'll finish off what we're supposed to, to do. But this video, is, is this time is just resonating in my spirit. It's... Time is running out. That's, that's, that's how the best way I can put it. It is speeded up significantly. And I give you the, the analogy with the clock, the example with the clock. Five o'clock on the clock, you go into the room just to get something, come back in. But when you look at the clock, it's six o'clock. It's something like that. It's just make a big, massive leap. Because Satan know that his time is running out. Why do you think that the Bible keep on saying that the devil know that his time is short? Why? Because ta time is speeding up. That's why the Bible keep on making a reference that certain time is short. He only has but a short space or a short time to do what he's got to do. Because it's time and the devil knows that time is running out. That, the, that, that, that Yesiah will soon take control of everything of this world. That his new kingdom is millennium kingdom, a kingdom that shall, a kingdom that shall never ever 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 be destroyed, will be coming. Shift. There's a shift in time. Time has speeded up in the realm of the spirit, and it's going to manifest in the natural. And like I say, when I ask the most high. <clears throat> What's this time to do with? He told me three prophecies. Second Exodus, three days of darkness and the Antichrist. Massive prophecy, biblical prophecies. These are not just, these are Bible prophecies. Second Exodus is all over in the Bible. Three days of darkness in the word of the Most High. And obviously the Antichrist in the Bible. So these are three major major prophetic biblical biblical prophecies that is about to un unfold yesterday i posted a video didn't i i posted a video con this is an old video i only posted the old video according to the move of the most style my spirit and i'll be posting old videos brothers and sisters it will say throwback when you say throwback it's an old video but I posted an old video concerning a powerful vision that a beautiful sister had concerning the three days of darkness. Three days of darkness. And that event is going to happen. 
but those of you who have been watching this video those of you who have watched other channels who talks about the three days of darkness you know what time it is you know what to do when that time comes because you're children of the light you're not in darkness but the three days of darkness will it's inevitable you can't pray it away even though you might say it's a catholic thing it's not in the bible well that's what you are saying but it is there um and obviously the antichrist coming on the scene revelation 13 revelation 17 revelation 17 verse 10 and all that talks about the lawless one Daniel 7 25 changing times laws and season so we have ample time we had ample time we still have but people have to repent see people don't want to repent they just want to carry on carrying so how how is it then the world is just going to carry on wickedly we carry and carry and carry and carry on and we <clears throat> the children of the most high we want to be with our savior we want to be with him <laughs> hallelujah glory be to the most that some of us want to be with our own people amen second exodus and all of that you know want to be with the church a body of christ and all of that so th there's a lot of things and Yesiah is not going to sit up there and just watch the world just go by wicked no he's going to step in on behalf of his people glory be to the most high and so people have to get their priority right whom do you serve which god do you serve which one of them because the bible says that he that loveth the world the love of the most high is not in him any christians any born again you see love the world they look like the world they look like the world they dress like the world they speak like the world them and the world are best buddies but yet still they open youtube or in the pulpit saying christ a higher will not be mocked when you become a born again child of the most high you cannot i know like you cannot as a female firstly as a female when you come to christ you cannot dress like the world i cannot see a sinner woman and a child of the most i look the same <clears throat> you're both in tight clothing you both have cleavages showing you're both in fake hair you both have fake lashes fake nails makeup paint in the face all over no difference that's love in the world same thing for the men you say you are born again child of the most high your your pants is as tight as a woman they all rip 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 and cut up cut up cut up like you're mad mad man oh you got soggy pants on filled with tattoo well you may have a tattoo before you came to christ but the showing off of your tat of your tats, like that's just vanity. So there's no difference between the child of the most high, male, and the sinner male. You look at them the way they dress, they're just the same. That's the love in the world. Talk just the same. The slangs, the various slangs, the various. No difference. That's love in the world. Baba says that he that loveth the world, the love of the Father is not in him. People have got to wake up. You don't want to hear the part from me, I never knew you. If you are a child of the Most High, you need to dress like a child of a higher. You need to look different physically. If you want the glory of the Lord, the Bible says that he will beautify the meek with his salvation, that's spiritual beautification and that's physical beautification. Now, if you've got all these things on you, especially the females, right? If you've got all this stuff on you, your fake stuff, you know, your loving nails and this and your makeup and your fake hair and 
tight clothing and whatever. All right. How is the most that uh, glory is going to shine through you? A higher cannot be mocked. How? Just tell me how. How? How? How is the spirit of the Lord going to shine through you? They can't because he needs a clean vessel physically. So you have to come away. You've got to come away from the things of the world. If I wanted, I could easily, easily dress and look like a normal sinner woman. Couldn't tell the difference. The only difference is that because I say, because I mentioned the word God. So I say, oh yeah, she's she's a Christian. But you look at me and I, and you, you can't tell the difference. Because I just dress exactly like them. Look exactly like them. Can't do that when you're a child of the most. High. Don't be fooled. A higher is not mocked. Cannot enter heaven with Satan. Chilanga bangs. You've got to make a decision. And you know. For me. Um, when a higher called me in 2015. I need to show you some pictures. Of how I used to dress. Terrible. And I was a child of the most high. I used to wear, they call them cat suit, all in one. <clears throat> it's like jumpsuit, but it's cat, cat suit, all terrible. But one of the things is obedience. And when the Lord woke me up, first thing he did with me, because my hairs were pierced here, pierced up here, and all sorts. <clears throat> and I was going to get a piercing here. 